Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Saturday, February 9th, 2019. I am the Drunk Poke Roo, and it is indeed beer time. Now, last night's beer time was, well, let's just say less than spectacular, and I don't want a repeat of that. Uh, Saturday night, Leafs and Canadians are on. You know, I want to have a couple of pints and enjoy the, the game and then the time after work before I got to go back to work, because we are at the end of the first week, a 100-hour work week. I am not a young man anymore. I mean, I'm not old, but man, I was pushing, pushing even my limits. Cause, but I'm okay. I'm, I'm legitimately having fun, so I don't give a shit. And that's the truth. Uh, from our friends at the Exchange Brewery in Niagara on the Lake, New England IPA. There's seven squared, seven point zero percent, seventy one IBUs. I just want to tell you the hops in this. I don't get into too much, but I mean, this is some serious hoppy, hoppy stuff going on in here. Amarillo Citra, El Dorado, Galaxy, and Mosaic. I mean, that's that's a solid, solid lineup of hops. Uh, LCBO available. Very cool. The Exchange Brewery, I mean, they have those very iconic bottles. I tried to look for one. I have one around here somewhere, but, you know, they do tend to get, everything gets lost in the haze. Um, and to see them in cans in the LCBO, that's very, very good. Uh, beautiful, beautiful spot in the middle of downtown Niagara and Lake. Uh, go and check it out. Been there myself a few times, but uh, let's get into this because I need a damn beer. You know, when you have a night of beer and they're just disappointing, that's the tough thing. Oh, a New England IPA. That is darker than I expected it to be. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm okay with that. It's, uh, I would say, more orangey, but it is hazy. There are some floaties. Again, floaties are okay. I've seen people complaining about them, and I'm always kind of like, I mean, it says unfiltered. The beer is unfiltered. So you're going to get some sometimes. If you pour slow, you know, you won't get a lot in your can. So, uh, you know, nice white head. Definitely some peach and some grapefruit there. I mean, that's good. That's what I like. I love a good grapefruit in my beer. Honestly, peach, if it's done well, if they've, you know, the hoppy peach as opposed to just throwing fruit, fruit slurry in it, it's very hard to do. Monkeys prove that you can. Um, that beer took off. That's nice. I'm always glad to find another good beer. Cheers to my friends at the exchange. Cheers to Saturday night beers. Cause now I got to drink both of them, you know, cause science or something. I don't know. Cheers. That's the first sip of beer today. That is considerably better than the first sip of beer yesterday. <laughs> oh, that was bad, man. So this is not a light lager. This is a New England style IPA. Uh, definitely, you're you're getting a, a lot of um, citrus up front, grapefruit, pineapple, some orange, um, definitely some stone fruit in there. Peach, apricot. I, I really need to go buy some peaches and apricots. I haven't had them in forever, and I always get them mixed up. Just you know, stone fruit, whatever you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, the bitterness in the back end is. Not super heavy bitter. It's not a big piney bitterness. There's some pine lingering back there. It's dry and bitter, uh, lingering with the citrus. It's not a huge hot bomb, um, but it is. It, it's kind of nice. I don't know. I mean, this one. The only, I guess the only issue would be this is two months, almost three months old. It was canned at the end of November. Again, beautifully readable canned on date, which I appreciate. Um, it's it's good. It, it's it's a decent IPA. Like, I like the citrus in it. I like the peach. And again, with New England IPAs, it's a bit more of the pillowy soft, right? The muted. It's not like I'm a little more upfront and in your face. So it's it's sticking to the style. I wouldn't say it's true New England style. Um, not hazy enough, I guess. And it's a little not, it doesn't, it's not juicy enough, but it, it, it's it's good. I'd give it a shot. 7%. Decent. You know, it's, it's a bigger IPA. You get something out of it, and it's fun. And, you know, you want to support local if you can. And find good beer to support local as opposed to paying four, three bucks for a 3.2% light lager. Um, you know, eat a little more out of this one. So enjoy your Saturday night. I'm going to crack them both because I want to get, I really want to give it a try. You know what I mean? I don't want to judge it on a few sips. That's why I never sit here and tell you guys, oh, this is a 3.5 out of 5. No, I want to get into it. I'm going to drink it because I might find by the end of it and you crack the second one, you're like, oh, now I'm discovering some things I didn't. This is never meant to be, you should buy this beer or you shouldn't buy this beer. This is just me going, hey, this is what I'm finding, the flavors I'm finding in this beer. I kind of like it. I'm not sure. You know, this one here, I'm kind of on the fence with it. 
it's got some really good stuff happening. I'm thinking, you know, I like the bitterness is lingering now with more peach at the back end with some grapefruit pithiness. The problem is you'd have to get through the whole beer really to judge it. And I'm not spending 10 minutes talking about a beer. You know, I love beer, but I got shit to do. You know, that that's the whole thing. We all got shit to do. This has probably gone on too long now. So I'm going to cut it short. This is a pretty good beer. Give it a try. I do like the citrus and stone fruit in it. Um, I like a little more bite at the back end, but uh, it's New England style IP. It's what it is. Uh, have a good Saturday night, my friends. I'm going to go watch the game. You do whatever it is you do. You do you. I'm going to do me. And we'll meet somewhere in the middle. Cheers. This is why I buy two now, because then I can really, you know, get into it. Or if I'm a drunk. One of those two things, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs>